Hello everyone, I am KAP of 4th semester studying in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Today I am here to discuss about point analyzing in microcontroller and embedded system. First of all, let us discuss about what is embedded system. An embedded system is a computer system, a combination of a computer processor, computer memory and input output peripheral devices that has a dedicated function within a larger mechanical or electronic system. Embedded systems are characterized by their dedicated functionality, real-time operation and resource constrained nature. They are designed to be embedded within a larger raw system such as consumer electronics, industrial machinery, medical devices, automotive systems and many other devices we encounter in our daily lives. Embedded systems range from those low in complexity with a single microcontroller chip to very high with multiple units, peripherals and networks which may reside in equipment racks or across large geographical areas connected via long distance communication slides. An embedded system is a computer system designed to perform specific tasks or functions within a larger device or system. It is typically a combination of hardware and software specifically designed for a particular application or purpose. Now let us discuss about applications of embedded system. Embedded systems have a wide range of applications across various industries and domains. Here are some applications of embedded system. They are consumer electronics, automotive, industrial automation, medical devices, home automation, aerospace and defense, internet of things, energy management, transportation and wearable devices. Now let us discuss one by one. Consumer electronics. In consumer electronics, embedded systems are extensively used in consumer electronics such as smartphones, tablets, digital cameras, televisions and gaming consoles. They provide the necessary intelligence and functionality to these devices. Whereas in automotive, embedded systems play a crucial role in modern automobiles. They are used in engine control units, anti-lock braking system, airbag control system, navigation system, entertainment system and more. In industrial automation, embedded systems are extensively used in industrial automation for control and monitoring purpose. They are employed in programmable logic controllers, distributed control systems, robotics and supervisory control and data acquisition system. Whereas in medical devices, many medical devices rely on embedded system to perform crucial functions. Example include placemaker, insulin pumps, patient monitoring system, and medical imaging equipment like ultrasound machines and MRI scanners. In home automation, embedded systems are used in home automation system to control and manage various devices and appliances. These systems can automate tasks such as light control, temperature regulation, security system and smart home integration. Whereas in aerospace and defense, embedded systems are used extensively in aerospace and defense applications. They are employed in flight control system, navigation system, satellite, communication system, weapon system, radar system and uh, unmanned aerial vehicles. In Internet of Things, embedded system from backbone of IoT devices and networks. They enable the connection, communication and data processing capabilities of IoT devices ranging from smart home devices to industrial IoT application. Energy Management in energy management, embedded systems play a vital role, including smart grids, energy monitoring and control systems. They help optimize energy usage, monitor power distribution and enable efficient energy management. Transportation In transportation, embedded systems are used in various transportation systems to enhance safety, efficiency and convenience. Examples include traffic management system, toll collection system, vehicle tracking and navigation system, and public transport system. In wearable devices, embedded systems are integrated to into wearable devices such as fitness trackers, smart watches, and healthcare monitoring devices. They enable real-time data collection, analysis, and interaction with the user. Now, let us come to the main topic, point analyzing. Point analyzing refers to a situation in programming where multiple pointers can access or refer to the same memory location or object. In other words, it occurs when different pointers have the ability to access and modify the same data through different name or reference. When used intentionally, analyzing allows different parts of a program to access and manipulate the same data through different pointers. 
This can be useful for sharing data between different functions or modules in a program. If a function has two pointers p a and p b with the same value, we say the pointers align each other. This introduces constraints on the order of instruction execution. If two write accesses that align occur in program order, they must happen in the same order on the processor and cannot be reordered. This is also the case for a write followed by a read or a read followed by a write. Two read accesses to aliases are safe to reorder because any pointer could alias any other pointer in C. The compiler must assume that memory regions access to these pointers can overlap which prevents many possible optimizations. C++ enables more optimizations as pointer arguments will be not treated as possible allies if they point to different pointer aliasing can have both intended and unintended consequences depending on the programming context let's explore both scenarios first let us see intended aliasing sometimes programmers intentionally use pointer aliasing to create alternative ways to access or manipulate data for example in low level programming or optimization techniques Aliasing can be used to improve code efficiency or provide alternative views of the same data. However, it requires careful management and understanding of the code to avoid unintended side effects. Now, let's see about unintended aliasing. In most cases, unintended aliasing can lead to issues that are hard to detect and debug. When multiple pointer aliases the same data, modifying one pointer's value can inadvertently affect the other pointers and their subsequent usage. This situation can introduce bugs, logical errors and unexpected behavior in the program. Aliasing can make code more challenging to reason about, especially in large code bases or when optimizations are involved. Now, let us see some disadvantages of pointer aliasing. Unintended pointer aliasing can lead to problems. It can cause unexpected behavior, bugs, and make code optimization challenging for compilers. When a compiler encounters pointer aliasing, it needs to ensure that changes made through one pointer are visible to the other pointers that alias the same memory location. Failure to handle, handle aliasing correctly can result in incorrect program behavior or produce incorrect optimization results. To mitigate the issues caused by unintended pointer aliasing, programmers often use techniques such as restricting pointer access using type qualifiers like const and volatile or employing co compiler specific directives or pragmas to provide additional information to the compiler. Now, let us see some advantages of pointer aliasing. Memory efficiency, data sharing and intercommunication, optimization opportunities, flexibility and versatility, Performance improvements are the some advantages of pointer aliasing. In memory efficiency, pointer aliasing allows multiple pointers to refer to the same memory location. Where in data sharing and intercommunication, aliased pointers enable different parts of the program or different functions to share data and communicate with each other more easily. Where in optimization opportunities, compiler optimizations can be applied more effectively when pointer aliasing is allowed. In flexibility and versatility, pointer aliasing can provide more flexibility in certain programming scenarios. Where in performance improvements, in some cases, pointer aliasing can lead to performance improvement. Understanding and managing pointer aliasing is particularly important in embedded system programming, where memory constraints and performance optimizations are critical factors. In conclusion, pointer aliasing is a critical concept in programming that refers to multiple pointers accessing or referring to the same memory location. It can lead to both intended and unintended consequences depending on how it is used. Thank you for watching this video.